everybody has See if some people come on here. Give me a few minutes. There's one. Is that Bailey? I think so. Is it the cameraman? The cameraman? The camerawoman? It's the behind the scenes person. Yeah. The techie person. Tech. We'll find out after tonight. There you go. This is a test run for. This is our assistant. Hey everyone. Good to see everybody coming on tonight. We're just giving it a few minutes. I know we're a couple minutes early, but it's been a while since we've done this. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we was getting on there. Hello, Church Alive. Pastor David, I got my sidekick with me tonight. Glad to have him beside me. Lazarus is up. Lazarus has come forth. <laughs> hey, Diana and Joe. Hey, Sister Judy. Good to see you all. Hey, Mom and Dad. You know, you all could have come up here and done live with us yeah. instead of sitting down in your little parlor. Somewhere they're in the house. They're they're here somewhere. Hiding out. Yeah. So we'll just give everybody a few minutes to come on and get ready for let's pray. Amen. Yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. Hey, Sister Judy Sadler, how are you? You got Brother Dwayne in there with you tonight? Oh, she's still in there. <laughs> yeah. Amen. We've had a busy day today. Um, yeah, tell them about our day a little bit. We've had a busy week, actually. Uh, David had some unexpected issues come up, and we had to take him in for uh, an earlier scan than what we anticipated. More hospitals. And uh, that was on Wednesday. And then today, uh, they called and the oncologist wanted to see him in the office today. Uh, so it has been a very, very busy day, but uh, we are here tonight to pray with you and you with us and to um, just have a good time in the Lord. I'm so, so thankful that we have uh, communication with the Lord, that we can go to Him at times when we need him so much 24 7 he's always listening to our to our needs and our petitions and i'm so grateful Amen. for a good god I'm, I'm glad that david's with me tonight he did get a um good report today just to let you know the Amen. uh tumors that he uh, had scanned before you know we had told you about the the shrinkage and that they they were um, basically you couldn't see them and today uh, they are telling us that these issues that he's having is not coming from the tumor uh, it's even smaller uh, in this scan so we we give God praise and glory and honor because we know that he is completely healing yeah, David amen, and we amen. stand in agreement uh, with that, so you can just you can just praise a little bit where you're at for those who um, were wanting Amen. an update. Hallelujah. We are we are giving God glory. He does have some other things going on right now. Help us pray that they can get to the bottom of it, helping feeling better and kicking back and getting back to normal. Um, and that's our that's our goal. So. Um, so I tell him that uh, they got to find the right pill. God's just not done with him yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they the right They're pill. They're still looking for the right the pill. The right pill. They can't find the right pill. But anyway, tonight um, we're coming to you and welcoming everybody. And if you want to hit the share button, that's great. Uh, that would put put more people in Amen. with us. Um, however, we wanted to come tonight. The last few months, um, the pastoral team at church alive has been uh standing in the gap amen and we have a wonderful pastoral team um amen. ministry team i should say at our church and i thank god for all of them amen uh, they have stuck with us and have just been so kind to pick up and and run on with, go to the next level right and 
uh, church hasn't missed a beat, so I'm I'm thankful for that. But we did feel like that. I felt like with David's condition and things with him traveling, maybe that he could get a little bit more involved if we brought it to the home, uh, and he could be a part of it because he's missing he's missing ministry and being able to be in contact with the people. He's not quite strong enough yet to do the pulpit. But I told him, I said, you're strong enough. He's got the word in him and the armor of God on him, and he is strong enough to sit here and do what God wants him to do. And I thank thank the Lord for that. But uh, once again, thank you, could ministry you sign, team. Could you sign my contract? I can sign your contract right here. Oh, praise God. I feel a good spirit. But I thank our ministry team so much. And so anyway, we decided to do these Wednesday nights from home the month of August um, and come into your home and you can... Come into our home with us, and uh, let's pray. They've been doing a lot of praying, but we wanted to pray too, uh, and pray with you, and and reach out uh, you know, like to I had, you. I had communicated to you that I'd already spoken with uh, Sister Diana right, Scheich, right, who we all glean from so much on end times, and not just end times, but. It's just such a passion of hers, and she's spot on right. with the word. And I felt like with all the current events we're facing today, these end times, yes, we, we can't disregard what God's put in our church. So she prayed, and she's praying about doing, bringing him coming back for some more end times updates. Yes. And we had talked about some Wednesday nights, too. So we may right. inter-switch some. We may, right. you know moving around a little just a little bit don't know how it all just work but god's got a plan and he's gonna work that plan out i know that much he does we have plenty of resources at our church god has blessed us with great ministers and great pastors and uh amen we're going to use them yes for the glory of god so yes praise god so we're here tonight to uh welcome each of you into our home and also we know that everyone has needs Everyone has um, has something to pray about. But, Situation. Yes, but tonight, um, I don't know if you saw the advertisement on Facebook or not, but tonight, the first one was, let's pray for the harvest. Let's pray for our lost loved ones. Let's pray for the the soul that, that hasn't been um, washed in the blood yet. And um, mm -hmm. let's pray and get get uh, get serious about the um, the the Co lost loved one. The great the, commission. Yes, the great commission. And I have um, I've shared this with a couple people, but during this time that David has been going through this um, this sickness, this attack. Um, this uh, assignment, let's say, I tell him he's on an assignment. Uh, the Lord has really convicted me that, you know, we get so bent out of shape and so uneasy about sicknesses and about uh, cancer. Uh, I'll use cancer, brain tumors. Uh, we get so excited and so been out of shape about, oh, we got to pray, 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 pray. But the Lord spoke to me a few weeks ago and he said, you know, if we prayed as much for the lost soul, mm. for the moms or the dads or the sisters or the brothers or the aunts and the uncles and the cousins and the, and the hairdressers and the, the store retailers and, the and all of these tumors. people, right, the spiritual tumors, like Pastor said, <laughs> That's that's the problem. And I, I thought, you know, I know where I'm going beyond this life. I have life. This is just a season. But for the person that doesn't know the Lord, for your loved one that doesn't know the Lord, where are they going to spend eternity? That's serious right there, you know? And I'm not discrediting or taking away from the physical sickness. I know. I, I've been there. I'm there right now. And it breaks your heart. And you, want, you want, want it better. You don't want it to be like that. 
But I thought, God, if we don't get that concerned as we do for this, the physical, for the spiritual, we're in trouble. There's a harvest out there Amen. that needs Amen. to be reaped or is would be reaped. reaped. And I didn't want to say that wrong. And and it's 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 my family. It's your family. It's it's friends and neighbors that we come in contact with every day. And how often do we um, call them and and request that? Hey, do you know the Lord? Do, are are we really putting it out there for them? You know. You know, Laganda. Just quickly, I I thought about what you're saying and. Just this week, Kentucky has been devastated oh, in the yeah. eastern part of our state. Definitely. With this flooding and yes. these children and the victims. And, yes. and I'm thinking about this and yes. thinking about, you know, that's a physical loss for sure. But thinking about the spiritual side, people that get swept up in that flood or children or whomever, right. those were eternal things. Those were temporary things. Those were eternal. Right losses right. or things and so yes uh, i'm praying we've been praying for those families we've been lifting it i don't even know them but my heart aches mm. my heart has been aching we yes just quickly i wasn't even there but she shared they just kind of quickly told the need and took up an offering to forward down there and even in our little church uh you know we don't have big mega crowd but our people down. have a mega heart Right. And they want to meet needs. And so right. I think almost $1,000 was collected. Yes, we were able to give $1,000 to the... To help the immediate yes. needs. Yes, uh, so, And then I heard later, there was a family in the in the father, I believe I understood it correctly, had his kids in his arms. Yeah, and swept away. And it swept them away. Yeah, I know. And I tell you, that just broke my heart. Yeah. When I heard that, and I got a visual of that, and I thought about my, my kids. We need to lift our brothers and sisters, yes. whoever it is, to yes. the Lord in prayer. Yes. The eternity that is weighing in the balance. I yeah. I prayed and told Laganda. I didn't even know what had already come in. I already told her, I said, just go ahead and, and add this check. And I told her the amount. And, you know, it was pretty nice. Very nice mm -hmm. gift, but I, I just said, just go ahead and do it. I got to. I said, it's in my heart to do it. So, but anyway, we just want to. Um, we want to add them to our prayer list. Add them to our prayer definitely list. tonight. And, and but it those, goes back to your point. Those who there are, are eternal needs and there are physical needs. Right, right. What That's would true. it gain a person if they gain the whole, the whole world, mm -hmm. but yet they lose their own? Right. So right. we got to pray for the harvest. Yes. Church. We and, got to um, pray for the harvest. It's it's our job, David. What does this say about being an ambassador? Yeah, Paul said in Second Corinthians chapter five. This was a verse brought out in our assembly, verse fourteen to twenty one. It, it really meant a lot to me. For the love of Christ, don't you aren't you glad for the love of Christ? Mm -hmm. For the love of Christ, Paul said constraineth us right. it restrains us it causes us we thus judge that if one died for all when then we're, we're all when dead. we're all dead yeah. then we're all dead right and then if he died for all then they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him who yeah. died for them and rose again in other words if jesus did all that for me my lord how in the world could I not do something for him? How in the I mean, world? How could I not do something? Lord have mercy. You know, I had an overseer <laughs> friend one time tell me he needed me to go to this little church and help it. And he was trying to tease me a little bit because it didn't have no support. It was hard. It, it would be a hard thing. And I really didn't need the church. As far as finances, it was just he had no help. Nobody helped him. Right. <laughs> and I said, well, brother. We'll pray about it. You know, I gave him the old we'll pray about it answer. And he looked at me. He said, now, David, listen to me. I'll never forget. He said, when you needed Jesus, Jesus went all the way to the cross for you. Yeah. And now Jesus needs you. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you 
know, when he told me that, I know he was ribbing me a little bit. But uh, it caused me to pause and think. And it's, that's what this yeah. scripture is saying, really. Yeah. When you think about what the love of God has done for us, and the one died for all, then we're all dead. Mm -hmm. And then he died for all. Then they which should live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him. But unto him which died for them all and rose again. And then it goes on to say, Wherefore? Wherefore? Henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Right. Donald, don't turn your back on Jesus, whatever you do. Keep going toward God. Keep leaning into the cross. Hey, this is the year. You listen to Pastor David. This is the year some of us are going to do things for God Come on. by the strength of the Holy Spirit yes. that we have never accomplished yes. for the kingdom. And Amen. it's not because of us. It's because we're just going to be willing. We're going to have listening ears, open hearts. And when he says go and do, we're going to go and do. When right. he says go and say, we're going to go and say. Right. And people will respond to the power of the Holy Spirit. I promise you that Amen. every single Amen. time. There won't be no questions about it. Amen. Hey, and I like this part. Verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, new creature. any man, red, yellow, black, any white, man. any China, man, China man, Hispanics, any man. Japanese, Russian, it don't matter. Come on. Germany, it don't matter. The body of Christ. Any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become oh, new. Oh, I love that. And then it says, And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Mm. And have given to us the ministry. Reconciliation. Woo! Yeah. That'll preach there right there. There's a ministry right there. That'll preach right there. Shoot, man. Get them to Jesus. Yep. Forget the title of your position. Forget the title of your church. Forget the title of whatever. We need to remember the title of the King of Kings Amen. and the Lord of Lords. Jesus is Lord Exalt of all. Exalt him. He said, if I be lifted up. I, I, Jesus I, said, will draw all men right. unto me. Right. Praise God. That's all I'm concerned about. He don't need no fancy Lift Jesus programs. higher. That's right. Lift Jesus higher. Lift, Lift him, him up for the world, world to see. He said, if I, he said if I be lifted up, be lifted up I will draw all men unto me. me. He don't need no help. Just well, his name. They used to sing an old song. God's got a fire. He don't need no matches. Yeah. Burn up everything that's not of God. <laughs> You'll on. sing all night. Hey, let's go on and read this. It says, To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto him, not inputting their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the, world, the word, word of reconciliation. reconciliation. Now then, take it. Now then, we are, we are. We are. Not will be. We are. You and me. Ambassadors. That means representatives for Christ. Yeah. As though God did recruit us, beseech us beseech. by you. We pray you in Christ's stead be reconciled. Be, be attached to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us. He who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. in him. Amen. Amen. Now remember the very first verse here. Let's go back up here. Because this is the key to this year. I really believe it. What we got left in this year. He says, Because this love of Jesus constrains us, this is what we've judged, Paul said. That if one died for all, then we all are dead. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And if he that died for all, they that which live should any requests? not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. So, anyway, if you guys have, as we go through this, or next time we do it, or even later on today, if you find this, if you have a comment, or more importantly, if you have a 
prayer requests you want us to be praying about, we we generally pray every day, and we pray for these requests every day, Lagan and I. And in general, one of our most important times of prayer is may sound a lot odd, but it's late at night before we ever lay down to go to rest yes. for the night. Yes. We will take all of the things that we still have not carried to the Lord. We will take them to Him in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And it just seems to be a, a release of His anointing when we do that. And uh, man, you talk about sleeping good. Ooh. Yeah. Just put your needs in the in the re, the uh, responses yeah, be happy down there. To, if, if if it's a, we'd be happy. You can, to sleep you can message us if you need to. If you want it private, that's fine too. I understand. Um, yeah. Not everybody likes everything out there, but yeah. um, tonight I really I really want us to to focus on the lost, um, the lost soul, the the the. The people that the harvest don't know Jesus, don't know Jesus. And um, if you have a loved one, if you have a son or daughter or grandson or Maybe granddaughter, if you yourself watching tonight and you don't know the Lord, you need to get right with the Lord. Yes. You need to call upon the name of Jesus and you need to invite him into your heart oh, and yes. into your life. And you need to make that that commitment that, Lord, I claim you as my Lord and my Savior. And I want to walk as you would have me to walk. Mm -hmm. And give your heart over to the Lord. That is the most important Lord decision you will Lord ever make Amen. in your entire life is being ready to know the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a judgment day coming. And if my name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, I'm in trouble. And I want my name to be there, but I want your name to be there as well. And you need a relationship with the Lord. And I pray tonight that if you don't know the Lord, or you know someone that doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ, that you will take it, take it serious a heart tumor, a spiritual tumor, is a whole lot, whole lot. We're talking eternity, folks. We're not talking uh, here on earth. We're talking for the rest of our lives is a long, 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 long time. So make things right with the Lord tonight. He loves you. Mm -hmm. He loves me. He loves us all. Amen. And he cares for you. And he wants to be your friend. He is everyone's friend. I, you know, I can't even imagine what it would have been like these past six months if I had not have been able mm -hmm. to talk to the Father, to talk mm -hmm. to my Jesus, to talk to my Lord. Our family has drawn so close to the Lord through all of this. We have prayed together. We have cried together. We have laughed together. We have done so many things with the Lord Jesus Christ completing our, our circle mm -hmm. and I am so thankful that I know that he is my savior and my lord so if you have somebody tonight write it down put it in front of you visibly if you have to put it on your mirror in the mornings or beside your bed don't hesitate to call that person's name out and I encourage you as Christians and I trust that you go to church faithfully but if you know somebody that doesn't know the Lord, if I was you, I'd be getting on that phone or texting them or All whatever, right. and I'd be inviting them to church every time I went to church. Can All you right. go to church with me? I'm going to church. Now, they may tell you no, but if they do, that's on them, not you. We are ambassadors for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And whether it's picking up the phone and inviting them every week, every week, every week, or whatever it may be, let God use you. Be that ambassador. I want everyone to go to heaven with me, and I know that you do too. And tonight, we just want to pray over over the lost. You know, this uh, a little something that I had pulled up. It says, Lord, and I want you to take that person's name and put in this place. But it says, Lord, pour out your spirit up on... Whoever this person is, pour it out. 
Pour your spirit out upon our lost loved ones tonight. Lord, convict our lost loved ones, his or her, whoever it may be, of their sin and separation from you. That is, um, and I have, I actually have scripture text on this. The first one, pour out your spirit, it comes from Acts 2 and 17. And then the, convict. Yes, and then convict, convict them, oh, yes. John 16, 8 and 9. And then, Lord, reveal to this man or woman, boy or girl, whatever, reveal to them what Christ has done for him or her. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. Amen. I like that term, everlasting life. Everlasting. That's what we want. And Lord, Amen. rescue that man, woman, boy, or girl Hallelujah. from darkness and set the captive free. Colossians 1 and 13 and Luke 4, 18 and 19. And Lord, use drastic means if necessary to cause that man, woman, boy, or girl to repent. Acts 9, 3, and 8. And Lord, we pray that all men and those in authority will be saved. And Lord, that you would draw that man, woman, boy, or girl to yourself. And Lord, send bold Christians to that man, woman, boy, or girl oh, yes, Jesus. about Jesus Christ, Lord. And open up the eyes of this man, woman, boy, or girl, and remove the veil of blindness. The and blindness. then lastly, it says, do not allow Satan to steal the seed or blind this man, woman, boy, or girl that you're praying about tonight, their eyes. But Lord, let them see that the enemy, that Satan, the devil, is nothing but a liar, a trickster, a joke, and he needs to go back to where he came from. But Lord, let them see that. Reveal that to them, Lord, in your name. We humbly pray and we claim every soul for you, Lord. God, just just em, em, embark upon us, Lord, your goodness and your mercy that we can fulfill what you have for us to do, Lord. And let us be ambassadors for you, God. If you can use anything, you can use me. Oh, yes. Take my hands, take my feet, touch my mouth, speak through me. Lord, whatever it is, God, use me as an ambassador to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. Mm -hmm. My little grandson, uh, when he was in school this past year, and this just, just came to my heart. I had remembered this. But he, um, he has really, him and Bailey both, as our grandchildren, have really helped us pray for Papa. Uh, it, it's really touched their hearts, and they've seen the Lord move uh, on his behalf. But during all of this time, Lincoln has, he, you know, he's taken it really serious. And he has become... Um, a little, a, a, a little prayer warrior for his schoolmates at school. And if there's a need, they've got to where they feel so comfortable with Lincoln that they'll share with him and tell him. He's an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he will come home and in turn, he will tell his mom and dad. And you know what? They begin calling out the name or the need. They pray over it. And they pray over it. And then they tell us and... Papa and Gigi pray over. So I'm telling you, it is it is a great thing to be an ambassador. But when the, for the Lord, Lord answers, Jesus Christ, it, yeah, he comes back and tells his yeah. mom, yeah, guess what? God answered our prayer. God answered <laughs> our prayer. <laughs> I love that. And I am just so grateful that the Lord uh, hears our needs, that He hears our petitions, He hears our cries. Is it easy? Sometimes it's not. It really isn't. But I know that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. 
and he leads me beside the still waters. Oh, yes. And he restores my soul every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. And I trust tonight that you, we're going to get off of here, but oh, I trust tonight. You, I am so, so thankful that he was able to do this with me tonight. And I keep telling him he was fussing about his hair and putting on a hat. I said, your hair looks great. Don't put on no hat tonight. It looks great. But I am so thankful. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. I am claiming complete healing. Hallelujah. Not, Sister Diana, not just a short percentage, but 100% yeah. healed in the name 100%. of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I want our lost loved ones to be healed. I want their hearts to be touched. And, and moved by God, not for me, for them, for the Lord Jesus Christ. God, send a revival. Yes. Let it start in me. If you don't have a church home and you're watching tonight and you need a place to attend, I know a church that's called Church Alive on Blue Lick Road. It's worth the drive. And it is worth the drive. We love Jesus. We believe the word from cover to cover. And we want to see you there. Amen. We do have service this Sunday at 1045, and Pastor Doug will be ministering the word to us oh, at that wow, time. Wow. Yes, Sister Diana, 100% healed. And we invite you to be a part of our service. Everyone is welcome. There's no age limit. There's no, um, there's no race no, no, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Divisions. Division. Race division. Yes, we love people. God loves people and so do we. And we invite you, if you need a church home or need a place to go, come to Church Alive, 9508 Blue Lick Road, 1045 this Sunday morning and be a part of our worship service. We look forward to to seeing you and being with Amen. you. We also have a men's ministry group that meets on the second Saturday of every month. And they will be meeting this month at our church there at that location at 9508. If you're a man and are looking for something to do, come out and enjoy and the not, men's. Don't forget about our special Spanish speaking services. Okay. Every, and then every week. we will, um, we invite you. It is a breakfast and um, they will welcome you with open arms. I believe Tim Atterbury, he's a missionary in Honduras, is going to be at that um, meeting on that Saturday. It's a Saturday. Also, our ladies are having a, uh, we have a, a strong ladies ministries, and they are going to be having a luncheon. I believe it's on the next Saturday, the 13th, uh, if you're interested in that. Serving? I'm not sure, I might, no, no. but it's about friends, so if you need a friend, you come right on out, ladies, to that meeting. Also, this Sunday, uh, Brother Tim Atterbury will be with us as well in giving a short uh, synopsis of what he's been doing there in Honduras. If you're interested in that, come out and join us for that. Continue to pray for the flood victims. Amen. Uh, and all of all of those that are in need. Amen. If you Amen. have an offering you want to give, uh, Church Alive is continuing to support and take up monies for that. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Uh, our Hispanic well, church. They do have services. If you um, if you need to go to a Spanish speaking service, we have service on Saturday oh, nights. Oh man, do we have church? And on Sundays, what an awesome, awesome Woo. group of people we have in our Hispanic we church. church. We love them. You guys take care. In the name of Jesus, we pray for a great rest of the weekend. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you would touch the hearts and lives of your people. Lord, any sickness that is out there tonight, we God, we can. call restoration and healing upon it, dear Lord. God, we just pray, Lord, for our nation. Yes. We pray, Lord, for Israel. Yes. We pray, Lord, for um, all of these surrounding areas, Lord, that yes, Lord. Uh, have been hit by the floods. Lord, we pray for the countries of our world. Lord, for our leaders, God, you know every need. I can't think of all of them off the top of my head, but I know you know our hearts tonight and the needs around the world. And we just thank you and we praise you, Jesus, for your power, for your strength, for your love. And Lord, because we know that in you we live, 
we move and we have our being. God bless you tonight, and we will see you again next Wednesday night live stream. Let's pray, okay? Bye-bye. Amen.